I try to tell people when I first walk in the door, guess what? You're not going to like me any more than you do right now because I am going to take your home and turn it into a house for sale and that might not feel comfortable. This is your home right now and we're going to transform it. And one of the first things we do is when the buyer walks through the door, they're going to make a decision really quickly as to whether they feel that this is going to be a great home for them or not. So what we want to do is make this entryway as inviting as possible. Okay, now we're walking into your main living area. And what we want to make sure happens here is that first of all, people feel welcome and the furniture is placed in such a manner that it's inviting to people. And that's why we got rid of the sectional because the sectional was sitting right here and kind of blocking that entryway. Would you guys mind helping me move this a little bit? No, not at all. It makes a lot of sense. Maybe we can try a few more configurations. Okay, great. How do you feel walking into this? This looks a lot more wide open yeah. and inviting when you walk in. The other thing I notice in this room is that you've got this entertainment center. So what we're going to try and do here is make sure that it's less of a distraction than it is right now because we've got a lot of books, a lot of pictures. What we want people to see when they first walk in the room is the feature that's staying and that's not the entertainment center but the fireplace. And you've got a gorgeous fireplace and so we want to downplay that to upplay this. When we live in the home, it's wonderful to have our children's artwork shown off. But when we're trying to sell a feature, these shelves, we want to take all these distractions away. Now let's move into the dining room. What we're going to do is we're going to take these arts and crafts and we're going to put them someplace else that's not as obvious and not as distracting. Welcome to your new master bedroom. Wow. My gosh, I don't know. Whose bedroom is this? I don't know what to say. Honey, you've got the calm, mature bedroom that you've always been wanting. That's what I've been wanting. It's great. It looks terrific. So what we did in your master bedroom is a couple of things. One is we depersonalized, two is we decluttered, and the final thing is we decorated. I've always looked at staging as a return on investment. Yes, it is investment in the front on the accessories, furniture, and the stager's work, but on the back side, I think there's a huge return in less time on the market and higher price when you do sell. I really didn't know how much we could do with our existing stuff and you know how we could make it blossom and it's just I think it's fabulous. I'm thrilled. 